Hello viewers, welcome to video number 105 of the channel Mala Chemphili. And video number 105 is a chemistry riddle. It is riddle number 60. Four questions are associated, four multiple choice questions are associated with this riddle. So we have to read the riddle and then we have to solve those four multiple choice questions. So here is the riddle number 60. The change in value of a thermodynamic function A is important for predicting certain characteristics of a chemical reaction or process. This prediction can be made possible only under certain specific conditions which are difficult to maintain in a system during a process or reaction. On the other hand, when the change of this function within a system is coupled with its change occurs outside the system during a process, then the prediction is possible from the total change of A. So, this is riddle number 60. Now, let's see the multiple choice questions. Question number 1. Question number 1 is, what is referred by A? The options are A. Entropy B. Enthalpy C. Gibbs free energy D. Helmholtz free energy The correct answer is A. Entropy Now question number 2 Question number 2 There are two parts First part Give the expression of total change in A as mentioned in the riddle. Now, this entropy or total change in the entropy is the sum of entropy change in the system as well as entropy change in the surrounding during a process or reaction. So, this sum of the entropy change of the system and surrounding surroundings we denote by total entropy change or entropy change of the universe. Now, second part. What characteristics of the process can be predicted by this total change? The options are A. Spontaneity of a process B. Equilibrium state of a reaction or process. C. Non-spontaneity of a process, obviously for reaction also. D. All the above. Now, the correct answer is D. All the above. That means from the total change of the entropy, that means the entropy change of the system and surrounding or delta S universe, we can predict for a process or reaction whether it is spontaneous or irreversible or it has reached the equilibrium state or it is non-spontaneous under that condition. That means, so the answer is all the above. Question number three. What are the specific conditions referred here that are difficult to maintain in a system during a process? The options are A. Isolated system at constant temperature and pressure B. Isolated system at constant temperature and volume C. Isolated system at constant volume and pressure D. Isolated system at constant energy and volume The correct answer is D. Isolated system at constant energy and volume. From the total change of entropy, that means the delta S universe during a process or reaction, we can predict whether this reaction or process is spontaneous or non-spontaneous or it has reached to the equilibrium. But from only the entropy change of the system, it is possible only under the condition that is for isolated system 
and it must be at constant energy and volume. Okay. Generally, when we perform a process or reaction, we perform it under constant atmospheric pressure and sometimes constant temperature. But keeping the energy constant and volume constant is very, very difficult. Now question number four. What should be the probable value of total change in A for predicting the certain characteristics of the process? Options are A. Delta S universe greater than zero for spontaneous process and delta S universe or total less than zero for non-spontaneous process and delta S total is equal to zero for equilibrium. Option B, delta S universe less than zero for spontaneous process, delta S total is equal to zero for non-spontaneous process and delta S total greater than zero for equilibrium. Option C, delta S universe is equal to zero for spontaneous process, delta S total less than zero for non-spontaneous process and delta S total greater than zero for equilibrium. Option D, delta S universe greater than zero for spontaneous process, delta S universe or total is equal to zero for non-spontaneous and delta S total less than zero for equilibrium. The correct answer is A, that is delta S universe greater than zero for spontaneous process and delta S universe less than zero for non-spontaneous process and delta S universe equal to zero when the equilibrium is reached. So, total entropy change, that means the entropy change of the system plus surrounding, when this value is positive or greater than zero, that indicates the spontaneous process or irreversible process. And when this total entropy change value is negative or less than zero, that indicates the non-spontaneous process. And when this delta S universe or total entropy change of the system and surrounding is equal to zero, that indicates the system has reached to the equilibrium. Hope you have enjoyed. Thank you.